Well, one man who does is documentary photographer Roger Tiley. He's halfway through a year-long project photographing the entire coastline of Wales and looking at how man has left his mark on nature. Catherine Jones caught up with him. A labyrinth of disused oil and gas pipes in Britain Ferry. Hardly a tourist attraction, but a big draw for Roger Tiley. He spent the last six months photographing the industrial echoes along our coastline. Man plays an important part in the way that the geography is developed. And that is really important to me as a photographer. I'm not particularly interested in just photographing the landscape and I'm not really interested in making the landscape look beautiful because that's been done. If you look at the Welsh Tourist Board uh, pictures, they do it very well. Uh, my interest really is, is how man has developed the coastline for industrial purposes or leisure purposes, whatever it may be. A snapshot of our current coastline can speak volumes about our history, especially how man has harnessed nature to create industry. And it's exactly that industry, or what's now left of it, that led to Roger's project being funded by the Arts Council of Wales. There are timely projects where uh, an artist, a photographer, maybe just is looking at Wales at a particular time and they become very important records and poetic statements too about the, the nature of Wales. But to capture images like these, Roger has set himself a challenge. He's photographing the entire coastline of Wales at twilight, so he's got a narrow window of opportunity between the sun setting and night falling. It's around about uh, four o'clock now. I'm just waiting for the light just to go down a little bit more. Um, I only get about half an hour to shoot the picture because the light is perfect then. So it's kind of twilight time. As darkness descends, Roger begins the process of what he calls painting with light. And this is the result. By September, his year-long journey along the Welsh coast will finally come to an end, and the photographs will be exhibited in galleries across Wales next year.